The topic of this video is graphing circles. One way to quickly and easily graph a circle is to plot its center, then use the radius to plot points that are above, below, left of, and right of it. The circle can be drawn through those four points. I would like to illustrate. Let's imagine this is the center of a circle, and we knew that the center has a radius of 3. So, I'm going to use my ruler here, and I'm going to draw a dot that is 3 inches away from the center and directly above it. Now I'm going to draw a dot that is 3 inches away from the center to the left of it. Now I'll draw a dot that is 3 inches away from the center to the right of it. And finally, I will draw a dot that is 3 inches away from the center and below it. A circle with this point as its center and a radius of 3 has to contain all four of these points. Now, the number one mistake that students make when they try to connect those four points is they get something that looks like a rounded diamond instead of a circle. So here's my advice to you. Through the top point, put an extremely gentle arc through it. Something that looks a little bit like this. Don't worry about the other points. From the bottom, do the same thing. An extremely gentle arc through that point. From the point on the left, have an extremely gentle arc that's mostly going up and down, but curved slightly towards the center. And on the right, an extremely gentle arc that's mostly up and down, but curved slightly towards the center. Now, when you try to connect these together, you'll get something that looks like a circle. Notice that I'm using a sketching approach. Once you've sketched out your circle, then you can go back over it with a solid line to create your final picture. So, we've now created the graph of a circle whose center is shown and whose radius is provided 3. Okay, let's apply this to a mathematical problem. Write the standard form equation of a circle with radius 5 and center negative 3, negative 4. Okay, great. So, first we need to come up with the equation of the circle in standard form. Let's write the standard form equation. It looks like this. Okay. We know that in this problem, the radius is 5, so that's r, and the center is negative 3, negative 4, so that's h and k. So if we replace those variables in our equation with their respective values, we would get x subtract negative 3, y subtract negative 4, and 5 squared. All right, now we simplify. Subtracting a negative is adding. We have two instances of that property. And 5 squared is 25. So the equation of our circle in standard form is x plus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 25. Now before we move on to graphing the circle, there's something that I would like to show you. It's my hope that you will get so good at this skill that you'll be able to do all of this algebra in your head as a single action. Let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. We know that the standard form has this structure. And we know that there's a number here and here. By the opposite rule, that number needs to be the opposite of the center provided. So instead of negative 3, we write plus 3, and instead of negative 4, we provide plus 4. 
we know that the standard form equation of a circle ends in r squared. So if r is 5, 5 squared must be 25. It's very important that you develop the ability to write the equation in standard form for your circle simply by looking at the information provided. Okay, so now we're ready to create the graph of our circle. First, plot the center. The center is at negative 3, negative 4. That's in quadrant 3. So I'm going to draw the x-axis and the y-axis like this, since most of our circle will be down here. I'm going to create a dashed square centered at the origin, and I'll use that to establish the location of 1 and negative 1 so that the scale of my graph is accurate and not distorted. Next, I'll put equally spaced tick marks on my graph grid. And next, I will label. So this is 1, this is negative 1. Now I can plot my points. The center is negative 3, negative 4, which would be here. The radius is 5, which means that I need to start at my center and I need to go up, down, left, and right 5 steps. Remember, this is r squared. r is 5. So let's go up first. Right now, I'm at a height of negative 4. When I go up 5, I should end up at 1, but let's count it anyway. One step, two steps, three steps, four steps, which puts me directly on top of the x-axis, five steps. And indeed, I end up at a height of 1. All right, let's try going down. Right now, we're at a height of negative 4, so if we go down 5, we should end up at negative 9. One step, two steps, three steps, four steps, five steps. And indeed, we end up at negative 9. Okay, let's try some steps to the left and right. So currently, my center has an x-coordinate of negative 3. So if I go to the left, I'm subtracting 5 from that, and I should end up at negative 8. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Indeed, I end up at negative 8. And if I go to the right, <clears throat> starting at negative 3 and adding 5, I should end up at 2. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, I'm sitting on the y-axis, 4, 5. And indeed, I do end up at an x-coordinate of 2. Okay, now I'm ready to create my circle shape. Using the sketching technique that we discussed earlier, make a gentle arc pointing towards the center at all four of your points. Once you've done that, then try to connect them together to form your circle. Now, you might notice that the picture that I made looks a little bit more like an egg than it does a circle, and that's because the scale of my graph is a bit distorted. This is why it's so important to create an accurate graph scale. There's no such thing as a perfect graph, but we do the best we can. So, here is the equation of the standard form of a circle with radius 5 and center at coordinates negative 3, negative 4.